What is up, my friends? My name is Josh, also known as the Josh Watson, and today uh, I am joined by Micah, and we are going to be doing uh, we're going to be playing two truths and a lie, and it should be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, hey, what's up, In Rally Rivera and uh, NPC Gaming, and the Average Player, Arctic Clan, uh, Michael Astro Gaming, uh, Superhero Super, One Hundred One, yep, Superhero One Hundred One, Kulka M, uh, Gaming with Brandon, uh, Black Ops Wizard, Matteo. Welcome to all of you. It is very, very awesome to have you guys here. Uh, what's up, Robbie Robinson and uh, Lokius and Detective Pack? Welcome to all of you guys. Hi, Detective Pack. <laughs> so, um, I think we're just gonna jump right into this. Basically, I mean, if you guys don't know how Two Truths and a Lie works, uh, basically how this works is we'll take we'll, we'll take turns and um, we will um, we'll 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 say three things. Like I'll say three things about myself, and then Michael will say Micah will say three things about herself, and um, and uh, and two of those things will be true. One of them will be a lie. And so Micah's job is to figure out which of those things is a lie when I give her three things. And then when she gives me three things, then I have to figure out which of those is a lie. And we so. will be keeping score. I don't Indeed. know what we're going to do for the winner slash loser. Oh, yeah, the mic was low. Sorry about that, guys. But it should be fun. All righty. Hey, what's up, Rocker Chick? <laughs> Rocker Chick! All right. Um, so... Do you want to start or should I start? I'll let you, let, ladies first. We'll we'll let Micah start. Sounds good. Micah's I hope gonna. I have a few good ones. To, <laughs> to stump you is my goal, honestly. All right. All righty. I turned down two boys in high school from being my boyfriend. So wait, so you turn? Oh, you you okay? So her first thing is that she turned you turned down. So two boys offered to be your boyfriend. You turned them down in high school. Yes. All right. I like little dogs. I like Cool Ranch Doritos. You don't like Cool Ranch Doritos. I'm almost positive. But do... I, I know... I mean... Well, but you don't really like little dogs either. You don't mind little dogs, but like... Um, Jose is saying there's a little bit of lag. Um, but I think Jose might be the only one seeing the lag. Anyone else seeing lag? Love Micah's haircut? Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate it. I like my haircut too. Thanks. Uh, give me one sec to fix that. There we go. Um, yes, Mr. Crazy Koala, I do remember you. Let's see. Oh, slash rocker chick. I don't know why I said it that way, but slash rocker chick. Well, I was saying slash to what you were saying. Anyways, let's just forget that I did that. Anyways, rocker chick, I sent a Detective Pax fan art in the mail a couple days okay. ago. It should arrive hopefully. Yeah, people are saying there's lag. Dang it, no lag. Uh, give us, give us one sec here, guys. Yeah. All right. There we go. I think you guys should be able to hear us now. We had to switch cameras. Uh, the other camera was being stupid. Hi, I'm glad that you got it, Detective Back. All right. Yeah, Black Ops was just well, now. There's no lag. Exactly. Yeah. So we had to switch over to the other one. Um, and we, I, I keep trying to do this. I have, I literally, I have a Logitech C920, uh, which is like the best camera out there for for live streaming. It's the one I use for my art streams too. And so, but it's for whatever reason, it does not want to work with my computer. It just will never ever play nice. So, anyway, so I do apologize for the uh, the little bit of a. Uh, issue at the beginning there, but we should be just all nice and peachy now. Do you want to hear my three items again? Okay, yep. So let's let's restart here. So Micah is going to give me her th two truths and a lie, and um, and I have to figure out which of those is a lie. She's going to tell me three things about herself, and um, and I will I will uh, try to figure out which of those is false. So. So my first one is in high school, I turned down two boys from being my boyfriend. I told them no. So two boys asked you out and you said no, okay? Well, two boys asked to be my boyfriend and I said no. Okay. Um, I like little dogs. And my third thing is, I like Cool Ranch Doritos. How little? Like, how dogs? Like little dogs. Hmm. None of these seem very likely, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know That I, was I, kind I, uh, of the point. I know Micah really, really well. Um, yeah, Mateo says, good, good stalling, trying to get out of an answer you don't know. <laughs> um, I'm honestly going to say that you, I, I think the one that's false is, 
um, is the Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, you're right. Yeah. No, I, the I, like, only my chips kid doesn't like Cool I Ranch like. Doritos. It's just salt and vinegar, yeah. That, those are the only ones I'll eat. Like, our, yeah. every other chip could stop existing and I wouldn't care. So Josh gets one point. Oh, for a second I thought that I'd accidentally deleted my, my notes here. Okay. And... <laughs> Um, you two should do um, Have I or Haven't I Ever this. Are you talking about Never Have I Ever? Because, yes, that would be a lot of fun. That would be fun. And I always Josh, win that you game. Should, you, do you win. like Micah's hair, long or short, says Dragon Rider? Um, I prefer Micah's hair. I, well, I like I like this haircut that Micah has. Mm -hmm. I um, am being tricky, rocker chick. All right, so I am going to... Uh, uh, your room is different. What's going on, Austin? I actually I moved. I don't know if you... I don't think you haven't been here in a while. Um, I moved uh, to Portland. Um, so... Here is my first three things for Micah. So Guys, Micah I'm has so to, nervous uh, about this. Micah has to figure out which of these is false. Okay, here we go. Number one, I have cut down a tree. Number two, I once went hunting and killed an animal while I was hunting. And number three, I have eaten a worm. So I know for a fact that you have eaten a worm at some point in your life. <laughs> Why do you even say that? <laughs> because you were friends with James and McKay when you were younger. Of course you've eaten a worm at some point in your I was, life. That is, I was friends with those people, and I still am friends with those people. Um, and we did do a lot of stupid things. I'm going to say, number two, that you've killed an animal, because I think when you went hunting with James a couple years ago, you were talking about the fact that you used to go hunting, but you never actually got anything. So you think that I have not been hunting and killed something? Uh, I think that you have not done the second thing. I know you've been hunting before that, but I don't think you've actually bagged something yourself. Okay. Some people in the chat think that it's uh, the tree, that I have not cut down a tree. I know that you cut down a tree, though, I think. You're correct though. I have not. I have not killed an animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marco is correct. Marco. Marco's like John, Micah. He didn't kill an animal. <laughs> <laughs> so we've actually both. We uh, guys. We. I was really thinking I was going to stump Josh. Well, we know each other really well, honestly, guys. Like we've been together for six years. So this might be a really exciting round so, of us getting everything right. Yeah. Yeah. Never have I ever. Yeah. Con dreams. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> at some point. Okay. All right. Your turn. Alrighty. All right. Micah's turn. I have been run over by an ATV. I hate the color orange. Okay. I hate the color yellow. Um, I, I, this one's not even that hard for me. I know you've been run over by an ATV. I mostly said that so that I would be interested, interesting for the audience. Yeah, no, Micah, Micah has been run over by an ATV. No joke. I, I am positive with that one. Positive about that one. Luckily, I only broke my collarbone. Yep. So... Um, yeah, and Marco, I, I'm going to go with Marco's answer. Marco is saying that she hates the color orange is the false one, and I think that is correct. No, I hate yellow. Yeah, I know. And so the lie is that you hate orange. No, I, I hate... You hate the color yellow. Oh, I said I hate orange, not yellow. Never mind, you got yeah, it right. You, you hate, I know that you hate the color yellow. Yellow <laughs> is like the worst color. Never mind, I got excited for a second. I got no, confused I was like, by I my know own that, phraseology. Yeah. I was like, I think you don't understand how this game works, Micah. <laughs> so yes, I did. Um, yeah. So so yeah, yeah. No, no. Gee, I I got it, guys. Like, we got it. All right. So <laughs> no, I was just confused. Yes, Micah was confused about how this game works. Well, I was confused about what I possibly said. Is all. <laughs> all right. So the next one, I I'm gonna go next here. Uh, Parker says, "Can I say one?" Well, I'll I'll do I'll do a game with all of you guys at some point. But today we're just doing ours, right now. Um, all right, so, um, so, you know, backstory to this first one, I love shrimp, but I just, my first thing is that I discovered my love of shrimp, um, at a school lunch. So I was at school eating lunch, and I discovered my love of shrimp while in that school lunch. Uh, my second one is that I have eaten multiple dandelion salads in my lifetime. Because you can actually eat dandelions and turn them into a salad. They're better before they bloom, though. And um, the third one is that I have a secret love of watermelon. Because I don't really like fruits. But I have a secret love of watermelon. Oh, man. This one's a little bit tricky. I mean, it is really, like, it's, I know it's crunchy. For a, and 
a fact that Juicy. he's eaten multiple dandelion salads. Maybe. Because we talked about a little while ago about how your mom did, in fact, have dandelion salads occasionally growing mm-hmm. up. And I'm assuming that she made you eat them. Possible. Um, <laughs> but the thing is that... No, I've seen you eat watermelon before. And I do know that you love shrimp, but I think you were almost an adult before you discovered that you like any seafood at all because no one else in your family liked seafood. So the question it's is, possible. was it at a lunch? The school lunch, specifically. Yeah, a school grade. lunch. Because, oh, it was, ooh. I feel like you were almost an adult. I don't know. I could be misremembering, misremembering that. Guys, I really don't <laughs> want to get any of these wrong. I want to win. <laughs> People are saying shrimp because it's too specific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen you eat watermelon before. Have eaten watermelon before, with you. Yeah, exactly. So you wouldn't eat it if you didn't like it because you don't eat fruits or vegetables at all, unless it's apples or watermelon or it's in the smoothie. So I'm gonna say the first one. The shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> no. I did, in fact, discover no. a love of shrimp in the fourth grade. They had, they had popcorn shrimp for lunch and I ate it I thought it was chicken and I was like man this is really good chicken somebody's like Josh that's not chicken it's shrimp and I was like oh, I love shrimp and awesome. so, so, so I get yeah point? so the watermelon I, I don't really like watermelon that much I don't hate it I don't hate watermelon but um but I said a secret love of watermelon I definitely don't have a secret love of watermelon oh, so well, I'm glad that I have ones that are based entirely on semantics as well so it's, I mean it's not semantics it's just that I don't like I don't uh I mean watermelon is just kind of gross so it's not that great. Hey, what's up, Connor Schofield? Marco says, tell her to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike is up next. All right. Eddie says, 100% better than zombies. Yeah, I do want to do a lot of these a lot of these type of videos <laughs> on my channel. Marco says, Josh, I'm going to help you. All right, I'm going to listen to Marco. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bouncy ball and a box collection growing up. I had a rock collection in my drawer growing up. I hoarded candy in my closet growing up. Bouncy ball collection, a rock collection, and you hoarded candy. I know you had a rock collection. That one I know for sure. Um, Rocker Chick says strawberries are bay, and I agree. Also raspberries. Um, I don't know. I, I'm almost positive that you hoarded candy. I, I don't know, though. Because you weren't really... Yeah, I I think the bouncy ball one is false. That's what Marco says. Marco has not steered me wrong so far. Um, is that your final answer? I'm not sure. I, th- I don't think you had a collection of bouncy balls. I think that's the false one. I did, in fact, have a collection of bouncy Damn. balls, and I showed it to you when I was cleaning out my old room for my mom. <laughs> well, I, but it was in like a little, it was in like that a little flower a pot. <laughs> but you said it was in a drawer, didn't you? No, I said that I had a bouncy ball and a box collection. Oh, and and a box collection. Oh. Mm. And so which was the false one? The candy one. I hoarded candy huh. underneath the bed. Oh, so it's semantics, is it? I told you, it is semantics. Uh, uh, and to be uh, fair, it. Mm. it was only for like... <laughs> A month or two after every major holiday where I got candy. Ah, dang it. Okay, so... Plus, I shared a room with my sister growing up, and she would have found it if it was in mm, the closet. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, so we, we're both... We're one and one and one and one and one no, right I'm, now. You have two points. I have one point. Well, didn't I... Didn't you just get a point for... Oh, no, we're, we're only doing... Oh, you're, right. you're correct. Okay, so I have two points. Micah has one point. Okay. It's a good thing Mike is keeping track of points, otherwise I'd be confused. Okay, so I'm up next here. here so here we go. Um, my first one is that I was once um, I was once thrown headfirst through a wall. Like, wait, my head went was through this a wall. On Second, the set. I don't know. On the. Because I think you did that headfirst. Second. <laughs> um, it's another tree one. Once. While I was cutting out a tree stump, you know, trees have stumps. I was taking out a tree stump, and there was a particularly difficult root, and uh, the only way I was able to get it was with my teeth. 
It was just, it was underneath, it, just long story. Okay. Um, and the last one is that I have had stitches twice. Oh, dang, man. I don't know you as well as I think I do. We really had to find obscure things. Mm -hmm. So. Marco says he's not going to guess anything. <laughs> so, head first through a wall. Mm -hmm. When you did the Lord of the Rings breakfast cereal, I think you guys went head first through the wall for your own amusement. And I think I was there. But, like. We did, we did uh, demolish the set after we finished filming. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. That would have been stupid, and you might have done it feet first. <laughs> Marcus says, look at look on his body for stitches. Only <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you've gotten stitches at least once. I don't know if you've gotten it twice. What was the middle one? Oh, uh, the tree root teeth thing. Yep. Why would you make that up? Because that's so stupid. <laughs> it is oddly specific. And stupid. Because, <laughs> like, Mark, Michael looked for stitches on him. <laughs> he seemed like such... Hard questions as a detective pack. They are, but that's because we know each other so well. We no, we know like each other super well. Getting to know you sort of questions yeah. because, like, because I mean, we've we been together. Each other. Yeah, we've been together for six years. Mm -hmm. Final answer? I don't have a final answer. Ah, come on, you gotta have a final I, answer. I have to have a final answer. Okay. Head first through a wall, I think is mm -hmm. true. All right. Stitches, I think is true. Oh, like, but I feel like you wouldn't make up the tree root story because that's just dumb. No one would believe that. <laughs> but you might be playing reverse psychology on me because you're clever. I have no idea. All right, I'm going to say that you've only gotten stitches once. I've had stitches twice. No! And I did get thrown headfirst through a wall. But <laughs> why Why the crap would anybody dig out a tree root with their teeth? Exactly, that's what <laughs> Like, why would you make that stupid story up? Because it fools you, and two, 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 two truths and a lie. That's Dang why it. I made that stupid I story up. I suck at this, apparently. All right. All right, it's your turn. I'm excited <laughs> for this next one. All right. Uh, Derp Maiku wants to know when the wedding is, and it was several years ago. Mm-hmm. All right. Are you ready for this one? Because right, I hope I'm ready. you're ready yeah. for this no, one. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. I want speckled success success chickens. I want golden spangled uh, Bingham well, chickens. Back up, back up, back up. You want what? Speckled Sussex. Sussex? Yes. Like the oh oh the breed of chicken. Yes, I want. Okay. Speckled Clarification Sussex here, chickens. Boys. So you, there's a particular breed of chickens that you want that you can't pronounce. Yes. Because okay. I've only read it. I want golden spangled Bingham chickens. I want black copper Moran chickens. And we've talked about this. So you've just picked three random breeds of chickens. Yes. Because Micah does want chickens. Yes. At and some point. Josh knows that I have researched and selected a couple of breeds that I want. And I've talked to him about which breeds I want and shown him pictures. And so now he has to choose which ones those are. Um, uh, super silly. I'll be back to Call of Duty tomorrow. No worries, man. Um, let's see. I have no idea. I'm going to pick the third one is false. I am so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed was, to get that one. Well, I mean, I, as I was listening to them, I was like, the third one was the only one that didn't sound remotely familiar. So, but yeah, I'm with Marco. <laughs> We've also that, talked about them, though. Okay. Well, I'm with Marco that I want KFC chicken. <laughs> so. so, I'm on a roll here, guys. I don't think I've, if I'm, I did oh, miss I one. I forgot to give you points. Okay, way. well. Hopefully, but somebody's keeping track. Because if you've only missed one, then I'm on my fourth one. Okay. So. All right. So now it is my turn to fool Micah. I'm going to lose, guys. This is so unfair. Indeed. All right. So <laughs> the chicken one is a lie. That, that's a good guess. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Cuber King? All right. So my next set is I have nearly I near I, blah, 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 I can't even talk. I nearly drowned in a flash flood when I was 12 years old. That one is true. My second one is... Of course I know that story. <laughs> my second one is that I once fell through a hole uh, in a lake with ice. Like, it was out on... Because like, there was a lake next to my house growing up. And we were out on the lake and I fell through the, the ice. <laughs> and the last one is that I am secretly terrified 
of deep water. You have never mentioned the deep water thing. Hmm. And I feel like you would tell me. Maybe. Maybe I would. But, like, we don't live any near any deep bodies of water. Mm hmm So it might not have come up. What do you guys think in the chat? Matteo, nothing that happens to the loser. Yeah, we thought about having uh, some kind of punishment for the loser, but... But uh, we, couldn't we couldn't come up, up with, with anything, anything fast interesting. enough. Other than more hot sauce, but like my body needs to recover first. Uh -huh, and that would not really be a punishment for me because. Because as we discovered, Micah will chug hot sauce at the drop of a hat. I like really like hot sauce, guys. <laughs> Hi, MC Lickety. I'm trying to decide which one is a lie. What is so, it? I was caught in a flash flood. I once fell through some ice on a lake next to my house when I was growing up. Was it next to your house or, when you were growing up? Was that part of the story? No, I, I did have my... I did have... I mean, you don't know this? Like, there was, like, Dolphin Beach that me and James... Well, I knew about yeah. Dolphin Beach, but when I was imagining that this might be possible, I was imagining you guys driving through Minnesota one time and stopping oh, at a no. lake. Or maybe No, this was, was like, there was a lake... There was Anyways. a there was a lake next to my house growing up. This That's just a fact. That's not part of the game. Um, and it would ice over in the winter, but it wasn't... Like, I mean, it was in Virginia. It wasn't, like, super, super thick ice. And so it was, like, kind of sketchy to go out on the ice. And uh, pretty much every winter, like, somebody would die on that lake because they went on the ice and drowned. And it was nearly me one year when I fell through the ice. So. I'm going to say that the third one is a lie because we've the talked. deep water? Yeah. We've talked about before about how we have no, like, classic fears, like, afraid of snakes or afraid of spiders. And... Yeah. <laughs> I am afraid of deep water. No! <laughs> and you we lied have to no, me. we have talked about it when we you went to the lied. lake. We went to the lake last year. I told you about the fact that I was afraid of deep water. No, because we've talked about like several times about how you're not really afraid of anything. I mean, I'm yeah. It's I don't usually think of it. I mean, you don't usually think of like deep water, like I'm like snakes or spiders or things like that. Like those, like like the classic fears. And like I'm not afraid of sharks at all. Um, but there's just something sister, about deep you're water. Super afraid of sharks. Yeah, it's no. Really Kind of there's just something about deep water that is really scary to me so but and i never I'm did so fall through yeah that I'm no i i so badly guys and that josh has only gotten one wrong. <laughs> like this is so upsetting to me yeah and i never uh i mean there was a lake next to my house there was ice on it i did go out on the ice many times uh but i never fell through so <laughs> all right your turn I don't think you can even win at this point. I can't. It's yeah. so, so sad. I'm supposed to be good at knowing <laughs> you. Hey, what's up, Vision Heat? And you were supposed to get the last one wrong. Nope. Not happening. When I get a dog, okay. I want to teach it to pull a cart. If you get a dog. When I get a dog, if. I want to teach it to pull a cart. Mm -hmm. When I get a dog, I want to teach if. it to bark on command. Why? When I get a dog, I want to teach it fly ball. What is fly ball? It's a dog sport. Is that part of the thing? I would have to figure out if fly ball is a real thing? No, fly ball is a real thing. Okay. Um, Marco, I, know I want I, like a medium-sized dog. I feel like, I mean, I, I know you've talked about having a dog pull a cart even though it's not a super realistic thing to do. It's totally a realistic thing it's, to do. People do it. Regardless. <laughs> I, I know that that one is true. What was the second one? Uh, that I want to teach my dog to bark on command. Um, Thank you, si super silly That seems talk. very useless. I think... Is this your last one? Yes, it is. Okay. I think that it's the second one is not true. The second one is true. Flyball is not true. There, like, flyball doesn't exist? Flyball exists. I don't oh, okay. care to teach my dog it unless my dog really oh. wants to learn it. Okay, well, okay, so I... The reason being <laughs> that when I'm walking my dog and I'm approached by somebody that I don't feel like I want to be near, I'm going to say my command, which will probably be something along the lines of, oh, what do you want? And then the dog will start barking its head off. It's like a self-defense thing. 
Well, you didn't explain that part of it. <laughs> I was just like thinking you meant like a speak command, which I was like, why do people do that? Because that's so... Anyway, all right. <laughs> so I, ha I have three correct and two incorrect. Micah has... One correct. One correct and three incorrect. So. I think that's true, at least. I may have forgotten to give myself five points uh, for no. being a cool No, guy. definitely not true. All right, so this is my last one, guys. The last little two truths and a lie here. I have dyed my hair three different colors. Not like unusual colors, but like... Three different times. Yeah, three on three separate occasions I have dyed my hair. Um, I used... Hi, Ballistic Freak. I used to regularly wear my hair in a ponytail when I was a teenager. And I, over my lifetime, I've had two different types of mohawks. It's the ponytail one. You don't think that I used to wear my hair in a ponytail? Well, your hair was short when you were a kid. Like, it was like that... Like that lots, mop. Mop thing. So, yeah. like... It's conceivable that you could have put it up when you were, like, doing something you wanted to concentrate on. Um, so it's really, honestly, between that one and the hair one, and the coloring it one, because I think your parents wouldn't let you dye your hair. Mm. But I know that often you could have a hairstyle for, like, a week at a time. So, like... So what do you think? I know for sure you've gotten, like, two mohawks. I know for sure you've gotten at least one mohawk. <laughs> And it seems like uh, yeah. something that you would have done on at least one more occasion. Because you were cool. It doesn't really matter at this point, guys. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just I've Which lost so think? badly. I'm so embarrassed because I'm, you... I'm supposed to know you. Well, yeah, you do know me, but I'm also very tricky. You are very tricky. What were you going to say, though, before that? If Micah gets this one correct, she can win. It's all or nothing at this point, guys. So, which one do you think? <laughs> uh, I'm going to get it wrong, though. You never know. Am I at least right about the mohawk thing? I don't know. I'll tell you afterwards. Because <laughs> I can only remember you telling me about one mohawk is the thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I know for sure that you've never dyed your hair. And I feel like your hair was too short for a ponytail. But when I my hair was kind of that same length, I used to like put it into a ponytail like this. Just like the very top front of my hair so that it wouldn't go in my face because my hair really likes going in my face <laughs> so, I don't think that's something that you've done what do you think oh dang it I, f I feel like your mom didn't let you dye your hair maybe maybe that was my mom that didn't let me dye my hair I don't know I could be projecting that onto your childhood uh, so much pressure. It's not even any pressure because there's no reward. That's <laughs> the thing. I just I want to be right about everything, and I was wrong about everything except for one. And I'm just so sad. <laughs> I'm also sad that the the chicken one didn't get Josh. Uh, mohawk. You think the mohawk one is false? Yeah, I, I think you've only done it once. I have had two different types of mohawks. Oh, which one was it? Was it the ponytail? <laughs> it was actually uh, the dying hair. Oh, I've is... dyed my hair once. Um, I dyed it. I dyed my hair black. I thought you were things. going to be tricky. Dang no. It. I'm so no, nervous. and I did. Yeah, I actually used to do the exact same ponytail that you were just talking about because I had my hair kind of like long and it would get in my eyes, um, and it was really hot um, in the summer times in Virginia where I grew up, and uh, and really humid, and so I would put it on a like in a ponytail on the top of my head. Uh, just all the time. So even so, when I was like going out with friends and stuff, I would put it in a ponytail because I was just that. You confident. guys can't see this, but as it stands, Josh has three points and I have one point. She has one point and I have three. <laughs> I'm a bad wife, guys. <laughs> uh no. Dang it! So you had like a regular mohawk. Did you have a different kind of mohawk? I had a reverse mohawk at one point, which is where rather than shaving the sides of your head, you shave down the middle of your I head. I thought that looked really dumb. I bet your mom, like, made you shave it almost immediately. Yeah, no, I went to a party and came home with a reverse mohawk, and it was, like, two in the morning when I came into the house, and my dad was up and just looked over at me and was like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> and I was like, nope, nope, not kidding. This is real. <laughs> and he was like, it's like, well, that better be gone by the time your mom wakes up tomorrow. And I was like, hmm, nah. So, 
And that was pretty much that. That right there is a very typical moment of my teenage years. <laughs> Dang it, guys! <laughs> I lost so bad. <laughs> oh man. Well, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure to drop a big fat thumbs up on the video. This sort of thing will definitely be happening in the future, uh, both in video form and live streams. And so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And um, thank you very much for hanging out with us today. You guys are awesome. I'm the Josh Watson. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.